No, don't click off. I can assure you, you haven't seen this video before. Last time we looked at the gardener's sleeping bags and this time we're gonna be looking at the sleeping bag covers. So let's jump into the video and see if you need one of these guys. benefits of having a sleeping bag cover but for those of you that don't know it's not just about keeping you warmer it can be used in a variety of different ways it can be used obviously to keep you warmer on top of your normal sleeping bag it can be used if you're doing nights under the stars to give you a bit more protection or it can be used as a standalone product if you are fishing in summer and you want something a little bit more lightweight than an actual sleeping bag then you can use just the cover itself now that's kind of the benefits of sleeping bag covers as a whole, not necessarily this one. So let's jump onto some of the perks of this particular one. Now, like the sleeping bags from Gardner that we looked at, there are two versions available. We've got the compact, which I've got on here, and then the standard one as well. But basically they're the same product, just in different sizes. So we're gonna focus mainly on this compact one because this is probably the one that's gonna be suited to most of you. The compact has been designed to fit pretty much any standard bed chair out there so at the moment i've got it on a standard bed chair and then underneath it i've got the compact version of the gardener sleeping bag if you haven't seen that video that i keep referencing then up the top we're uh, we've put a little card up so you can go and have a look at the video for the sleeping bag but then putting this back over i can say this is the compact sleeping bag cover and as you can see there's quite a bit of overhang around the whole bed so that's the idea of these products to, to give you that extra bit of protection and the overhang really does stop the breezes coming in. So I'm going to say breeze in this video because it turns out in the last one, when I thought I was saying draft, it sounded very much like giraffe, which keeps you nice and toasty, which stops any air coming in, any giraffes. I'm going to do this video by saying breeze. So the big overhang stops the breeze coming in. Obviously in the sleeping bags, you've got uh, all sorts of protection to stop breeze coming in uh, which we did outline in the previous video but for an extra layer of protection then obviously you've got this sleeping bag cover which then really does cover them zip so you've got no chance of any breeze getting into the sleeping bag now that's just one of the many perks the other thing to talk about is these are actually made from a waterproof material i mentioned earlier about using these as uh, a way to fish under the stars and give you that protection it really does help out. I'm sure many of you have been caught in that situation where you look up and you think, it's a nice summer's evening, let's do a night under the stars. And then as soon as it gets dark, it starts hammering it down. So this is gonna protect you from that sort of thing. Or even if it's not raining, you get a lot of dew in summer's mornings, and this is gonna stop the actual bag from kind of going moldy or something. If it gets a little bit wet and soaks into the bag, this is made from waterproof materials. So it's gonna stop all that and it's easy to wipe clean as well if you need to. So I mentioned that these can be used to add an extra layer of warmth as well. So if your sleeping bag isn't warm enough over winter and you want that extra layer if you're fishing in ridiculous conditions, then something like this really will help out. And on the underside of this, you've actually got a thermal fleece lining. So it really does add an extra layer of warmth. It's fairly thick, but it's not too bulky. It's a really lightweight product as well and it's actually a breathable material too so you're not going to end up getting sweaty even though it's keeping you warmer so that's definitely a real bonus of this cover the next thing you'll see is this little plastic clip now there's seven of these dotted around the sleeping bag you've got one here one here you've got three around the tail end and then obviously two corresponding to these ones as well now i've clipped up this side but i haven't clipped up this one because normally obviously you're going to want one side accessible so you can get in and out but it's really handy that they are dotted all the way around so that means that if you are using it to kind of sleep under the stars and a bit of wind comes up, something like that, then it's not going to get up and under and end up throwing the cover off or anything. It's going to keep everything in place where it should be. And then you've just got the one undone. So you've got access in and out if, you, uh, if you're lucky enough to get a bite. Now flipping this back, like I mentioned earlier, there is quite a bit of overhang. So if we're talking about the actual dimensions as a flat sheet, then this is 250 centimetres long and then 155 wide and that is the compact version like i say the normal version is slightly bigger and it's 254 centimeters long and then 178 wide so it's not that much longer head to tail 
but width wise it does give you a lot more protection so if you do have a, a wider sleep system or if you want more of an overhang for whatever reason then the bigger one is going to be the one to go for but in terms of weight it doesn't really add that much to it the compact version weighs just 1.55 kilos and then the slightly bigger version weighs in at 1.65 so it's not really something to worry about you haven't got to think oh the bigger version weighs a lot more because they both weigh next to nothing to be honest so yeah nice and lightweight gives you loads of protection loads of warmth if you want it on top of a standard sleep system and yeah if you want it just as a, a lightweight kind of um cover for the summer then it's ideal it really does have a multitude of different uses in terms of prices these both come in at i think a fairly reasonable rate from a quick google i found the compact version for about 80 quid and then the slightly larger version for about 85 quid i'm sure if you shop around you'll find slightly different prices but at the point of filming that's the uh, the kind of prices that they were coming in at now if you want to find out any more information about either of these then head over to the gardener tackle website and also there's going to be information on the the bags that we covered in the previous video that i've got under here and uh, i will put up somewhere around me the link to the the video of the bag as well so if you're interested in getting kind of a complete system like that then you can head over there and watch the video but thanks for watching this one and i'll see you in the next one